fun. I'm Alessandra, and you guys are watching Sani Panini. And for those of you that don't know, Sani Panini is just for college kids. It's a cooking show that makes everything, everything we do is on the panini maker. So today I'm in my sister's apartment. I'm surprising her with this old, rustic, really delicious sandwich. I don't really know the name for it. I don't even think it has a name. But what we're going to be using is one ciabatta roll, and then this is like the best thing ever. It's rotisserie chicken. And this is great because it's a quick thing and it tastes good. And you can just put it on sandwiches, you can put it with pasta, you can put it with whatever, and it's so easy and so affordable. Um, then I have this lemonade. It's this garlic and herb and lemon mayonnaise. You can get it. It's kind of like a find that I found at my local grocery store. Um, and then I have arugula and some sun-dried tomatoes. So what we're first going to do is we're going to cut our, panini, or our ciabatta in half. This is like really... Bread bread's kind of tough because it's so thick. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the lemonade, as they call it, and put it on the ciabatta bread on both sides. So this is great stuff, and it's gonna go so well with the chicken and the lettuce, of arugula, and some dried tomatoes. Okay, so now we're going to dig into our rotisserie chicken. The best way to do this is right from the top. So we're all good, and I like the white meat part, that's where all the good white meat part is. Just like that, you see? Okay, so now I'm going to take this and put it on the sandwich. You're going to have so much left over that you can use this for your pasta for tomorrow, you can use this for another kind of sandwich. Just like that. This looks so good. Now I'm gonna add our sun-dried tomatoes to the other half of the bread. And you want this next, or on top of the um, dressing because the sun-dried tomatoes and the garlic and the herbs in the dressing like make it so great. So here we're gonna add about three of those. That should be perfect. And next we're gonna add our arugula. Just, this is pre-washed, and this is so simple and so easy to assemble onto the sandwich and into a salad. Okay, so we're gonna lay this on top, put it in the panini maker, just until the crust is golden brown and has the marks. Then you know it's ready. Okay, I can start smelling it, and once I start smelling it, I know that it's cooking well. This garlic, herb, lemon, mayonnaise thing, I don't even know what it is. It smells so good. And with the sun-dried tomato aroma, it just smells amazing. It has the beautiful grill marks. I know it's done. Everything's pretty much cooked in here anyways. I need my fork again, this is so hot. Ah, it's steaming. Okay, I'm gonna cut it along the grill marks. Look how great they look. Oh, you guys, I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so delicious. Okay, I disassembled it a little bit, it's okay. I'm gonna start. Look at, before I do this, look at the colors. It looks great, you have the burnt, rustic brown, you have the light cream color of the chicken, and the red and the green from the tomato and the arugula. It just looks so, so good. All right, here I go. That is so good. Dude, I just realized I wasn't supposed to eat that. I just couldn't resist. The colors looked amazing and the smell was irresistible. I guess I'll just have to leave the other half for my sister. Thank you guys so much for watching Sonic Panini. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time.